Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. I think everybody knows how big of a Triple H fan I am. And honestly, after seeing the two uh, teasers that I believe uh, Wrestling DVD News is behind putting up on YouTube, um, I am very pumped for the new Triple H DVD. I hate the name, I hate the box, but I know that the content that is going to be in there is going to be... Uh, by far superb to anything else. Uh, this week, since I was so pumped up to see uh, what is in our future, I went back to the past and I watched the Triple H The Game uh, DVD and documentary. Uh, this documentary was made in uh, 2002 uh, when uh, WWE was just sort of getting into the documentary game. They were just trying to feel out you know, how they were going to start making their DVDs in the future. I think a lot of people, if you go back and watch uh, DVDs like uh, Triple H The Game, Undertaker, uh, My Yard, um, ones from that era and that time period, you're going to find that they're a lot different uh, than what they're doing. I think at this time period, they were trying to, I guess you could say, um, not let you so much into the business, but they were letting you a little bit behind the scenes without giving you everything. They sort of protect the business in some, in some senses where, you know, they tell you who's the bad guy and who's the good guy, but at the other time, they just tear all the walls down and basically say, you know, things about the writers and things like that. So it, it's 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 very confusing at some times, but you just sort of uh, breeze through it. Uh, this is the only documentary that is out at this date of Triple H, even though he does have a few DVDs out. Uh, he's got the uh, Best Buy exclusive. He's got um, the King of Kings. And this is the upcoming uh, new one. I, in my opinion, honestly, um, the game is very good because that's the documentary on it. The Best Buy exclusive, the one that, that with the name escapes me on it, has better matches from that time period. And honestly, just King of Kings was just an ultimate letdown for me. Uh, I've never really got the feeling out of my head as when I went to the store, bought it, came home to watch it, and uh it didn't have any sort of documentary on it, just Triple H talking about each match for a minute or two. It's got really good matches on it, but uh, ultimately it was just a really big letdown. One of the reasons why uh, Wrestling DVD News is such a good website to let you know what is coming out, so before you buy it, you know what you're getting. Uh, in this documentary, it breezes through Triple H's uh, involvement in WCW, being terrorizing, him teaming up with w William Regal, um... And just sort of them started getting a, a program started with them being a, a tag team. And then uh, the offer comes up for um, Triple H to go to WBF. And, uh, you know, Triple H is a little bit uh, conflicted if he's going to leave uh, William Regal behind or if he's going to go off on his own. And William Regal ultimately gives him his blessing saying, you know, you need to go there because in WCW you're not going to wrestle every day. But in WWE uh, they will make sure that you're on the road wrestling house shows uh, wrestling on TV, and you can become the, the, the good wrestler that I know you can be. Um, once uh, Triple H uh, gets there, he ultimately becomes Hunter Hearst Helmsley, uh, which is very funny that today he still wrestles under that name, uh, being Triple H, because I had what he once was and just what this gimmick is you know, rolled into, you know, there's so many guys that get repackaged and their name gets ditched, like uh, uh, Mike McGillicuddy and um, uh, Curtis Axel, they just flat out change his name, he's the same dude and everything like that, but Triple H just kept on rolling and evolving, there's, you know, different periods, there's the, uh, you know, the uber rich Triple H guy that comes in and does the bow and all that stuff and then that sort of uh, morphed into him you know being you know Triple H's side I'm sorry uh, Shawn Michaels sidekick and uh, and being uh, in DX and just doing all the you know dick and fart jokes and everything like that which evolved into him moving into the singles wrestler uh, once he broke off from DX uh, just sort of really uh, defined his muscle mass and his muscle tone and becoming this you know um student of the game, just the, uh, uh, just awesome wrestler, uh, that, you know, he, he had flashes up in DX, but you didn't really know that he could work a whole, you know, main event style of match at that point, um, and then from there, uh, evolving into, you know, the guy that he is now, um, this, uh, documentary goes over a, a few of his major, um, uh, feuds o over this time period of um, uh, him coming back from his uh, quad injury. It talks about him um, 
uh, it barely talks about him winning the title for the first time because they have to cover up for the main part of uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin didn't want to drop a title to him. They had a three-way match uh, at SummerSlam where it was uh, Mankind, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Triple H, and the plan was always for Triple H to win the title and move forward. Uh, come to the last day, Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't want to get pinned by Triple H, so he drops the title to Mankind. Mankind holds the title for one night, goes on to Monday Night Raw, Triple H beats him for the title, and Stone Cold's nowhere to be seen. Who knows why they did that? Um, you know, Stone Cold and Triple H went on to have awesome feuds once it became a singles guy, but maybe, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin didn't know what Triple H was going to become and didn't want to be the guy who dropped the title to some guy who was going to be just some sort of a major flop. Um, no one's ever really brought that story up and, and seen what's behind it, but... Um, Maybe this will be on the new uh, uh, documentary that is coming out from there. It goes on to them talking about uh, WrestleMania um, 17. An Undertaker um, comes out and he talks about uh, their their feud and how good of a wrestler Triple H is, saying that uh, Triple H would be the one guy that he would pick if he was starting his own wrestling company at that time. Um, you know, th that he would be you know, the, the full, complete package. Um, you see the injury with him uh, teaming up with Stone Cold Steve Austin against Chris Benoit. And... Um, Chris Jericho, where he tears the quad, then it goes into the whole thing about him and you know rehabbing, and in this um, documentary is being set in 2002. Him and Triple H, I'm sorry, him and Stephanie were dating at the time, but they weren't married, uh, so it's kind of uh, weird uh, to see Stephanie at the at the surgery at Dr. Andrews' uh, place uh, where he's getting worked on and she's crying in the window. And at that time, I think when we were all watching this, uh, when they were showing it on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, we were all thinking this was some sort of a work that was being involved in storylines and little did we know they'd been dating for over a year uh, to be married the next year on Val no they got engaged the next year on Valentine's Day and I think they got married later on in 2000 was it man been 2004 they got married then I'm not 100% sure but um from there, we go on to him winning the Royal Rumble in 2002, which led to him feuding with Chris Jericho and the um, you know, breakup divorce of him and Stephanie on TV at WrestleMania 18. Uh, once he wins the title, it just sort of says that he's going to be going on you know, to do bigger and better things. I can't give away the whole documentary to you guys. I want you to go out and buy this. So you can buy it most of the time used in the $10 range, it seems, these days on Amazon. It's a really great pickup for you. Um, it's got some extras on there for you. It's got him... Um, Winning the Royal Rumble 2000 with a commentary from him and the coach watching it back. His favorite match of all time from Wrestle War 1989, Ric Flair and Ricky Steamboat. That's one of my favorite things from which I think is an old Judgment Day DVD where it's um, Triple H versus Kevin Nash. And I think it's Big Show versus somebody else in a stretcher match. And I can't remember who it is, but uh, they give you an old Andre the Giant match. Uh, pretty good stuff. They give you the uh, Triple H Breaking up the uh, the wedding of Stephanie McMahon and Test. I don't think anybody remembers that. That was really badass. And then we get the uh, Triple H debut um, from the uh, WWF from uh, 1995. But um, awesomely good stuff. I put my uh, ticket in there for meeting Triple H at SummerSlam this year. Obviously a moment that I'm never going to forget. But I highly recommend this DVD. I know that it's going to be sort of left in the past once a new one comes out. But honestly, if you have this on your shelf... Definitely check this out. It'll get you pumped up for the new Triple H DVD coming out later this month. And uh, it's a good thing to look back on. It's definitely a, a must-have DVD from back in the day. Peace out, everybody. Have fun.